We're going to look at this video at a couple examples of where you're told what the gradient is of a particular uh, function, and then you have to find out when this happens or what the coordinates uh, are where this happens. So in this first one, it says determine the coordinates at which y is equal to x minus 3 upon 2x squared, 2x plus 4 has a gradient of minus 1. First thing you want to do here is to multiply out this uh, bracket and see what you get. So you're going to get 2 x squared plus 4x minus 6x minus 12 and tidy it up make life a wee bit easier. That's going to be 2x squared minus 2x minus 12. So we know this thing has a gradient of at some point this has a gradient of minus 1 so it mentions gradient. If it mentions gradient you have to think about your gradient function which is your dy by dx. So dy by dx, differentiate your y to get it. You'll have 4x minus 2. And then what, what we want to do is put your dy by dx equal to minus 1. Uh, so that means, therefore, what you want to do is minus 1 is equal to 4x minus 2. So that's just a wee linear equation for us to solve. Minus 1 is hit on the left hand side, the plus 2, sorry, minus 2 comes across, becomes plus 2. So you've got plus 1 is equal to 4x, and a wee bit of rearranging, you're going to get x is equal to 1 quarter. Okay, now notice it said you were to find the coordinate, not just the x value, so that means you've got to find the y, the x, the corresponding y value as well. So again, a wee word to say when x equals 1 quarter. And just sub it into your y. I'm not. I'm going to put it into my uh, my new form of my y then. So when I say that, I mean this form over here. I'm going to put it into this version here. So that's going to be two times one quarter, and that's being squared minus two times a quarter minus twelve, and see what I get. So when I did that, what I got was minus twelve and three eighths it came out on my calculator. I used my calculator for that. So my answer, A and S, my X value was one quarter and my Y value was minus 12 and three quarters. This example, it says a function Y is equal to two over three X cubed minus three over two X squared plus X minus four has a gradient of three. So it has a gradient 3, mentions gradient, you want to find your dy by dx. So to differentiate this, you're going to get 2x squared minus 3x plus 1, and that's it. Uh, okay, what we want to do then is put our dy by dx equal to 3, which means, therefore, what we're doing is putting 3 equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So this is a quadratic, bring everything to one side to solve it. Uh, so we'll have 0 is equal to 2x squared minus 3x uh, minus 2. And I'm going to have a go at solving this using a sum product. If you really don't want to, you can just jump to your quadratic formula. It will be fine. And some of you will have to do use a quadratic formula. Uh, but my sum here is minus 3. My product is minus 4. So that's easy enough to see. Minus 4 is equal to... Uh, 1 times minus 4, so there's my two numbers. So, man, oh, sorry, it was 1. Change that just a uh, positive 1 and positive 1 and minus 4. This pen is playing up for some reason. And then we go on to factorize that. That's 2x squared plus x minus 4x. Oh, was it minus 2? It was minus 2, minus 2. Rub that out. Okay, bear with me, sorry. Okay, and so that was uh, minus two. And then we go on from there, from there back rise up. I'll speed through the rest of this. Plus 1 minus 2 upon 2x plus 1. So you've got your common bracket, which was 2x 
plus 1, and your other bracket then is going to be x minus 2. So that means uh, from this one, this is going to give you x is equal to minus a half, or this one is going to give you x is equal to 2. Okay, back up top then, we've got your two x values that have a gradient of 3. You've got to find the corresponding y values that have a gradient of 3 as well. So again, when x equals minus a half, your y value, now be very careful folks, this is the original y equation, this is your dy by dx equation, so put it back into the original, and use your calculator here, so that's 2 over 3 times minus a half cubed, minus 3 over 2 times minus a half, and that's squared, plus minus a half, and then minus 4, so what you've got is, uh, that worked out for me to be minus 4, and 23 over 24. So my first answer is minus a half, uh, minus 4, and 23 over 24. Okay, we've got to find the other one, so this is, should be easier. This is when x equals 2. Your y value is going to be 2 over 3 times 2 cubed, minus 3 over 2, times 2 squared plus 2 and then minus 4. So if you do fire that into your calculator and you'll get minus 2 and 2 thirds. So your answer for this one is 2 and minus 2 and 2 thirds. Okay, so this one you had to find when this your line, y is equal to 2x squared plus 3x plus 5 is horizontal. So first thing we'll make a wee note of, just say gradient equals 0 when you've got a horizontal line. So your first thing you're going to do here then is find your dy by dx. I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can here. That's just be 4x plus 3. So just say put dy by dx equal to 0 which means 0 is equal to 4x plus 3. And then it's just a wee bit of solving from here. It's minus 3 is equal to 4x. Minus 3 over 4, over 4 is equal to x. And I'll just write that down. x equals minus 3 over 4. Okay, you've got your x value. You just need to find the corresponding y value. So we'll just say when x is equal to minus 3 over 4, y is equal to 2 times minus 3 over 4 squared plus 3 times minus 3 over 4 plus 5. Fire that into your calculator and see what you get. When I did that I got 3 and 7 over 8. So my answer is just minus 3 quarters comma 3 and 7 eighths. Okay, folks, you're now ready to do two exercises, exercise 7b and exercise 7c.